Hi, hi you guys. Today we're here with Coach Paul Bryant of the University of Alabama, and today he's going to tell us something about football. And I myself would like to know how does it feel to be a coach of the number one team? Well, uh, I've been the coach of the number one team a couple of times, and it's a real great feeling. Uh, I like to do it over. We we haven't done that well in the last few years, but actually uh, it's wonderful because, first of all, you have to be surrounded with, with great players and great coaches or it wouldn't happen, and uh, and uh, that, of course, is very enjoyable. Uh, do you think Alabama being number one this year? Son, I don't know. Uh, I doubt it. Uh, of course, that's our objective. That's, that's our goal, and uh, it is every year, but, of course, uh, uh, that's everyone's goal. The competition is very tough, and we we'll have an inexperienced team this year. And uh, I don't know as much about them right now as I would like to, or as I should really, because although we're finishing spring practice, we uh, had so many injuries that we haven't worked a great deal as a team yet. Uh, I, I myself, I would like to know uh, how you feel after a game. Well, it all depends. Uh, for if we win, why? takes me quite a while to throw out and about the next day to, you know, to afford and enjoy it. Uh, if we lose, I, I get right busy trying to learn something on the mistakes I made. And, of course, I really do that, too, if we win. Because, uh, But anyway, in answer to your question, I'm spent after the game. So although I don't do anything, it's kind of like uh, being on television, I guess. I would like, I would like to know why, when, you, when, you, when the game's going on, how you feel then? Well, actually, when the game's going on, you don't have any feeling because you're so busy. And um, um, if you're behind, well, the clock's running real fast. And if you're ahead, well, the clock is running real slow. And uh, but actually, if you if you're working, uh, trying to direct the game, well, you don't have time to think about how you feel. Uh, I let know what is the Alabama record. What is the record? Alabama. What is record? Alabama's record? Son, I don't know. We uh, we've had great players down there over the years, and uh, I, I think it's probably the best overall record uh, in the conference. I'm not sure, but it's not as good as it should be. It's not as good as it'd be if I did a good job. I would like to know some of Alabama's strongest and weakest points. Well, for this year coming up, uh, if we have any strength, it's a linebacker. We have all our linebackers back, with one exception. And we have a couple of new ones that uh, can play. And uh, our weakness, of course, is uh, we lost our three deep and uh, three fifths of our offensive line. Plus, we lost our quarterback. And so we have, uh, at this time, a lot of weaknesses and not very many strong points. I'll let them how many games have Alabama won and lost? How many won? I don't know. Uh, we'd have to get our publicity department to answer that, but over the years, I, they're up around the top in the nation. I, I, would, I, I myself, I would like to know uh, how many games have they won in all? Well, I, don't, I can't answer that because uh, I'd have to get our publicity department to do that. I have no idea. Uh, I'd like to feel, I mean, I'd, I'd like to know uh, when you win, how you feel. Good. Real good. I would like I would like to know when you lose, how would you feel? Bad, real bad. <laughs> well, Coach Brad, uh, we hope that you have uh, good success on 8 day tomorrow, and we wish you good luck. Well, thank you very much. Nice to be with you. Nice to be with you, too. Thank you.